G'day. In today's video, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do a factor reset on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. This one is a SM-T510. So this one has an issue that plenty of people with kids encounter, forgotten passwords. So they tried the password they think it is, no good. So from here, if you try and turn it off, or try and turn it off, there we go. Nope. Power off, power off. It will ask for your PIN code, which is no good. So to do a forced restart on a device like this, also useful if it locks up, is we have power, or power and volume down. So in this model, I'm gonna hold volume down and power for around 10 seconds, and the screen will go off. Then from there, I'm gonna hold power, volume up, and then release power. Volume up, power, and three, two, one, should be okay to release. There we go. Then once you get to this screen, you'll be able to factory reset it. You will potentially need to know your Google account because you may have Google factory reset protection enabled, which if even if you reset here, you still need those credentials to get in. So what was that one more time? So I held down volume down and power for around 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then switch to volume up and power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release power, keep holding up, and here we are. Then from there to navigate, we use volume up and down to select what we want, and then the power button to OK it. So if I go here, I want to wipe it, so I'm going to use volume down. This should be identical on pretty much any other Samsung device. Wipe data, factory reset, hit the power button. Uh, wipe all user data. Go down to factory data reset. Yes. Then from there down the bottom, wiping data, formatting cache. Once we get that, I go back to here, and I'm going to go reboot now, as it's done that factory wipe. Hit power. And now we're more than likely going to get stuck at this screen here for up to about five minutes, potentially longer. But just leave it and you should get back to the original setup screen on your Samsung Galaxy Tab or device. Once you're there, you just follow the regular setup procedure. But also do note that doing a factory data reset will wipe any information that is on the device. So unless you've managed to get it off there prior to wiping it, or saving it in the Google Drive or Google Photos, then if you do do this task, you will potentially, you will lose everything. So do note that. But then again, the fact that you've lost everything to be able to use this device again, you're gonna be stuck at a catch-22. Either you lose your data and don't have a device, or you wipe your data and have a workable device. Anyway, that's all for today. Catch you later.